seeing me here in front of the Rolling Rancho. And uh, this is going to be the last time you're going to see this baby in a video here on the channel. Because the Rolling Rancho is sold, ladies and gentlemen. Take you around for any of you that have not seen the Rolling Rancho. This is a GMC 1974 Coachman or Grand Can uh, Canyon Land. I'm sorry, 260. And we are right now charging. We got the charger up. And here you can see the uh, Onan 6000 watt generator. Woo, and that thing runs great. That thing has done us a great service. Yep. Good old GMC, baby. It's got a big heavy drawbar. Single wheel suspension. Front wheel drive, 455, I think it is Oldsmobile engine in it, that great big block, 454 whatever, I don't, I'm, I don't know too much about all that stuff, but anyways, I'm going to take you for a nice quick tour here. For any of you that have not seen the uh, seen the uh, roller rancho, what's really cool is that it has a stepping board here that you can pull in, pull actually out, pull out to get in. It has a dishwasher, a oven, with four cooking spots. It has a microwave, the original coffee maker still, and then here the uh, Kitchen sink, of course. Sitting area. Here's the cockpit. And you've got here the fold out jackknife bed, the overhead bins, the air condition. Here you've got all the comp uh, all the uh, like your LP gas, which shows almost full. Your battery, which it's right now off. Your monitors, the water tank halfway full almost. The holding tank is empty, which is your uh, black tank, and. Uh, there's your starter for your generator. To start your generator from the inside. Here you got your refrigerator, the freezer, a bunch of uh, dr uh, drawers here, and a closet in here, and then you have here the uh, 
incredible bathroom here with the wet shower. Click. There's the stool, and then you got the shower head here, and you got the curtains here, and oh, then you got the. Uh, there's me. And then you sink and everything. And the bottom is the drain, all, all that good stuff. Give me a real nice tour here of the GMC. And you got a really nice, I would almost say, twin size bed. Here with the, where the heater, heater ducts back here. And then there's speakers in the corners back here. So you have actually radio. You have a fantastic fan on top over here. You have this thing here so you can put a TV up here. You can watch TV in the bed. Nice lighting up here. Spotlights on both corners. And then of course you have a fantastic fan the air conditioner here and you have another fantastic fan here you have a fantastic fan in the bathroom <clears throat> all right so now everybody's gonna be in shock and go why are you guys selling the roller rancho and the reason why we are selling the roller rancho is because it is simply too big and my main concern has always been when Rosie goes after her retirement on longer road trips by herself and some breaks down she's all by herself out on the road and it's really going to be hard uh, to work on a big vehicle of this size here uh, also it's gonna be hard to get parts uh, it's gonna take a special truck towing truck it's gonna take a special uh, repair shop uh, to work on this vehicle um, it's just a lot of th factors that play into what if something happens and, and she breaks down that really make it difficult uh, and then if she's alone that just really makes it difficult and uh, she is planning on traveling uh, for a longer uh, distances by herself and I'm gonna be here on the rancho taking care of the rancho while she's traveling and uh, you know, uh, I told her, you know, you go ahead and go on your trips and, and do what you always wanted to do. That's a dream she always had. And uh, I want her to have that dream. For me, it's really hard to travel in a vehicle, you know, day by day. And I was sitting in a vehicle. I, I just, I can't do that. So, uh I, I said, you know what, I'm going to take care of the rancho and, you know, you just go on your adventures and, you know, do your thing. But I just really didn't feel comfortable envisioning her in this, in the rolling ranch, in this vehicle. So we always kind of were thinking, how about a class B or like a camper van or something. And really like a class B, I think, would really be the thing. I can envision her uh, being out on the road and I feel very comfortable with her being on the road in a class B. She also would be able to boondock easier in a class B than she would be with this here. With this here she would have to go to, to, to a uh, park, camping park and that would cost her every time she has to like overnight somewhere. With a class B, you can stealth camp, boon, boondock, 
anywhere and uh, it'll be for free you know you just kind of crank your generator on and uh, you're good to go so has a lot of benefits and if something happens on the rig it's a lot easier to work on it's a lot easier to tow it to a shop and have it fixed so we have decided to sell the Roland Rancho and then uh, we still got a year before she retires so we will kind of keep our eye open for a possible class B camper van and then she will go on the road with whatever we can find that is definitely a lot smaller so with that said uh, I want to thank you for watching and I uh, wanted to just give you a quick tour of the inside and a walk around on the outside just for in case of anybody that watches this video and didn't see the Roland Rancher yet this is what the uh, Roland Rancher looks like it's 1974 GMC Canyonland for 1974, way ahead of its time technologically, GMC was really, really on top of the game with this. I'm really amazed that they did not continue to come out with further models and, uh, uh, you know, continue to build these because these were really amazing uh, mobile homes. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Give me the thumbs up. Leave me some nice comments down below in the uh, comment section. And stay tuned for many more fun videos to come. Hugs, love and kisses. Mm -hmm. Toodles.